<laughs> so hey guys, um, today I wanted to do some type of wholesome video because who doesn't love that Sadie? This isn't the this isn't your video. Shoot. So today I wanted to make Lenny his own mini plate of spaghetti and meatballs. So in order to make Lenny spaghetti and meatballs, it has to be hamster safe. Now thankfully hamsters are omnivores, so most of the ingredients to make actual spaghetti and meatballs is pretty much hamster safe just without any of the salt and seasoning. Um, and sugars and things like that. So to make Lenny his own spaghetti and meatballs, we are going to need some spaghetti noodles. We will need a tiny amount of ground beef. Uh, hamsters can eat cooked meat, such as cooked chicken, cooked ground beef, cooked turkey. It has to be cooked, of course, but it is safe. And then we also are going to need some little tomatoes for the sauce and yes hamsters can eat tomatoes it is quite a debated thing i know a lot of people think that hamsters uh, can't eat tomatoes because of the acidic content in it but if you actually do some research um, tomatoes have no more of an acidic content than something like a strawberry or other fruits. There's actually other fruits that are safe for hamsters that have way more acidic content than tomatoes. So tomatoes are perfectly fine for hamsters, just don't feed the stems or the green bits. So I think we're going to start by just boiling a probably like two noodles because we don't need that much. We're not going to add any salt or anything. We're just going to boil two pieces of pasta. While I'm waiting for this to heat up, because it takes a while to boil water, um, I'll get started on the little tiny meatballs. So I'm going to make the tiniest little meatballs I can. Oh gosh. I think that was way too much. Oh, oh no, that's not going to go well. Wait, is it? No. <gasps> too much. So the next thing I'm going to do is make the sauce. So I just have some little cherry tomatoes and I'm going to blend them in my little food processor. You're not mushing like I want you to mush. I'm going to add a little bit of water to see if this gets saucy. I mean, kind of, I mean, it's liquid, but how do you make tomato sauce? So I gave up on trying to make tomato sauce. So we're gonna need tomato chunks. So now it's time to put this little masterpiece all together. Our little tiny masterpiece is beautiful. <laughs> I am so excited for Lenny to try this. It's so cute. It looks very delicious as well. Um, I'm gonna let this sit in the fridge because Lenny's not awake yet, but we're gonna wait and see.
So in order to make lent... <laughs> Give me... <laughs> oh, I think we're gonna start by bowling... Bowl... <laughs> How to make tomato sauce. 